This video shows how to mount the actuator so that it faces the outlet port. First we zero the actuator by removing the temperature sensor. When this is done a E2 error signal will be displayed on the actuator. The next step is to close the valve ensuring that the notch on the spindle points to the zero mark on the valve. Next we place the graduated coupling on the spindle making sure that the zero on the coupling points to the outlet port. To mount the actuator in another position, rotate the zero graduation on the coupling to the desired position before placing the coupling on the spindle. Place the center coupling on the graduated coupling. Place the actuator on the valve. Make sure the zero on the graduated coupling aligns with the notch on the actuator bracket. Insert the four bolts into the bracket and tighten up the nuts. This is how the actuator should look like when it's mounted on the valve. Before installing the temperature sensor, attach the bonded washer into the probe end of the sensor. Screw the temperature sensor into the outlet port, holding both ends of the temperature sensor so that it won't be damaged. Plug the temperature sensor into the actuator port labeled 1. This is the standard mounting of a G1 actuator onto an F3 valve. 